Hello, uh, I am Tomoya Tanjo from the National Institute of Genetics and Biodata Science Initiative. Uh, today, uh, we present the performance evaluation of GPU intensive genome analysis workflows in HPC and CROWD. Uh, in this talk, we focus on NVIDIA Publics. Um, NVIDIA Publics is a genome analysis toolkit that utilizes NVIDIA GPUs. And uh, it is much faster than GATK, which is a famous CPU-based toolkit. But on the other hand, its performance depends on various aspects, such as GPUs, versions of parabolics, and versions of GPU drivers, and so on. So in this talk, to clarify the performance in each environment, we execute workloads that leverage parabolics on HPC and CRUD. And of course, we developed workloads in the common workflow language. So why we choose CWL? The first, uh, there is a good community. And uh, as mentioned in the official website, uh, the community meetings are held periodically. So therefore, we can easily join the meetings and ask the question about CWL. And there are also several local communities, such as Pythagora Meetup and Workflow Meetup in Japan, for example. And the second point is uh, there is an ecosystem for CWL. For example, there are about 10 workflow engines that support CWL, and uh, each engine has uh, different, uh, different features and uh, different supported platforms. So we can choose appropriate engines for our requirements. And there are also uh, work-related systems that help to develop and execute your workflow. For example, SAPO is a system that builds your own workflow as a service by integrating CWL and other workflow engines. And uh, another uh, and other example is that CWL generator that, is, that generates the CWL tool description from a given example of a command line execution. And third point is it formalized standards. The specifications of CWL are available on the official website, so we can read the specification to build your workflow or uh, to build a new ecosystem for CWL. And the last point I want to mention in this talk is its extensibility. That is, um, the CWL allows users and developers of workflow engines to extend the workflow description by using the uh, uh, field with the, some prefix as shown here. And then, we also show the uh, uh, example of the extension here. The CUDA requirement is the, um, uh, the feature that is specific in CWL and some other engines. And of course, it is not in the CWL specification, but um, by using CUDA requirement, um, we can easily see that uh, this workflow depends on GPU and CUDA. And of course, um, our workflow uses the CUDA requirement because um, our, workflow, uh, our workflow uses GPUs. So, okay, so next, uh, let me explain the, our workflow named the uh, NCGM.js pipeline. Um, it is a workflow for polymorphism analysis of the whole genome sequence of a human genome. And it consists of uh, FQ to cram and that maps from sequence width in and the input files with reference genome and the, uh, several variant calls that perform polymorphism analysis for different regions. And each step is containerized and leveraged parabolics. Okay, so next uh, let me explain the GPU nodes for our experiments. 
And uh, uh, we executed the NCGM WS pipeline on the following two kinds of nodes. And one is the uh, core Kaliok file in Sakura Internet, a uh, domestic cloud platform. And the second one is a uh, thin computing node in the NYG supercomputer um, in the National Institute of in uh, Genetics. And here is more uh, details of the uh, configuration of each node. And note that the uh, H100 in CoCalioc5 is approximately four times faster than the V100 in NIC node. And also, uh, as you can see this table, the several hardware configurations are different. So therefore, um, the, this is not a precise comparison of the different GPUs. Uh, it is a comparison of different nodes with different GPUs. OK, uh, here are other configurations. We vary uh, parabolics with the following four versions. And um, we use uh, 20 samples from the 1000 genome project as an input. But um, we will show the average of analysis time of 18 samples due to the runtime errors in two samples with several parabolic versions. And then um, we compare the analysis time with the raw memory option that reduces the GPU RAM usage. And then um, we also evaluated the case without raw memory option for core cardiac 5, but uh, I skipped this result because uh, uh, of the time limit limitation. And uh, here is the result, and uh, here is the analysis time of core cardiac 5 for each parabolic version, and uh, here is the uh, analysis time of in, uh, NIG node for each parabolic version. As, the, and, uh, as you can see, this figure, uh, the core cardiac 5 is approximately 2.3 times faster than NIG node for all the versions of Parabrix. Mm, yeah, uh, it is faster, but um, mm, it is not faster than we expected because the Core Cut 5 installs twice GPUs and also each GPU is four times faster than the GPU in NIG node. So um, to investigate more detail, Let's check the GPU usage, CPU usage, and disk usage during the analysis. And then um, by checking here, uh, the, uh, the execute to Chrome is uh, from here to from here. And, and this uh, C-level step internally consists of two steps that have different workloads. And note that. Um, this execute to Chrome internally just calls the uh, parabolic subcommand. So therefore, um, unfortunately, we cannot divide this one into the uh, separate C level steps. And uh, by uh, checking here, um, uh, yeah. It doesn't fully leverage GPUs in the, this one, this step, uh, mapping step, because uh, it fluctuates the uh, GPU usage. And also, by, uh, you can see here in the variant call step, uh, it seems that it only leverages a few GPUs. It seems saturated. saturated. And also, uh, by checking the CPU usage here, um, it seems that it leverages um, uh, few CPUs during analysis. It seems that uh, it only uses uh, half of the G CPUs, and it seems that it only uses a uh, few CPUs. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, from the experiment, we found several points to be improved. And, OK, uh, here is the conclusion. As, uh, thanks to the CWL, we can easily evaluate Genmar's workloads that leverage GPUs in HPC and cloud platforms. And uh, as the future work, we are going to give feedback on this result to the upstream. And also, we plan to perform more evaluations with more latest GPUs. And uh, 
In such cases, the CLI helps us to execute workflows in new environments. So thank you for your attention.